Hi, this is Margaret Bird, and welcome back to Color Quest. I've missed you. I've been gone for about a month, and the reason for that is because I was down in Baja teaching the Cooking Color Natural Dye Retreat, which was amazing, and I moved. So, I'm so sorry that I've been gone, but I'm so happy to be back. Let's continue our experimentation with the silver dollar eucalyptus. Last week, we looked at how using alum as our mordant would impact the print. Today, let's test out tannin. So in this video today, I'm not going to go through every step by step. What I'm going to do is invite you to go back to the last video and watch how we went about using alum to do some echo printing with eucalyptus leaves on silk and cotton. We're going to do the same thing today, but today instead of using alum, we're going to be using tannin as a mordant on our fibers and see what kind of a difference that make in the prints that we do. So as you know, fiber prep is super important. So make sure you wash your fibers before you start this process. And let's go ahead and start working with our tannin as a mordant. I'm gonna be weighing both the silk and the cotton together today to get a dry weight of fiber, and that's gonna help me decide how much tannin to use. I will be using tannin at 10% of the weight of fiber. So let's get that weighed and the tannin measured. Tannin is a wonderful mordant. It's a natural mordant that's coming from fibrous materials like trees and seeds. And the tannin that I'm using today is going to be gallo tannin, which is a fairly neutral tannin in terms of color and it's very strong. So hopefully that's going to invite there to be a better bond between the silver doll eucalyptus leaves and the fiber that we're going to be steaming to get our echo prints. Let's get our tannin going. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the stove top to heat. You could do this as a cold soak overnight where you would heat up the tannin and then pull it off the stove and put your fiber in overnight soak. Take it out the next day. I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on the stove for about an hour and then turn off the heat and let it cool inside the pot. That'll give me a good amount of time in that tannin to adhere to the fibers. And then we can get right away with starting building our prints. I'm using PVC pipe today for my dowels. You can use wood if you like, or a stick, or anything that you can find that you can wrap around. You want a good, tight bind so that we are pressing the fiber into the leaves themselves or vice versa. I'm going to be using a ripped cotton sheet today to do my binding. You can use string, twine, something else that you want to make that nice and tight. Ace bandages, rubber bands. I'm choosing to use the cotton because it's going to leave a nice smooth and even 
bind across it and I'm trying to avoid getting any lines from the binding material itself. I've just ripped up an old cotton sheet and I keep those around and after I'm done I just wash them, put them in the dryer, and I have a nice little inventory of binding sheet material for future echo prints. I'm going to be using a fold that allows me to simply cover the eucalyptus with the cotton piece because it's such a big piece of cotton and my dowel is so small. So now that I've made my prints, I'm gonna be putting them into the steam pot. And I wanna make sure that I'm gonna have enough water in there so that it doesn't boil off because that turned into a mess. And I've done it before, I don't wanna do it again. So I'll try to keep an eye on it. So since I wanna lift the fiber out of the water itself to try to avoid that kind of watercolor effect and hopefully get some crisper prints, I'm going to wrap the piece of cotton into tin foil. The reason for that is because it's too long and it's at the edges and I know that that piece will stick down into my pot. Alternatively, get a bigger pot. I just have the one pot that I'm using today. The others are packed away and so I'm going to have to do it this way to protect it from getting wet. Now of course you can put it right into the water as well. It just means that you're going to have less chance of getting a nice crisp print and the eucalyptus will leach into the water and you'll also get some orange dye out of the mix. It's fun to try different things but if you want a nice crisp print steaming is always your best bet. So eucalyptus leaves are quite dense and they're gonna need a lot more time in the steam. We're gonna let this steam for about three hours. Give it as much time as possible. We can always pull it out and check on it and put it back in if we need to, but let's see how three hours works. All right, guess what? I'll let the water boil off. Darn it! Not only did it smell bad and burn the bottom of my pan, but it also melted my plastic PVC pipe. No worries, it didn't do anything bad to the fiber itself, but be smart. Don't do what I do and make sure that you always check to make sure you have enough water to keep it from boiling off. All right, let's unravel and see what we got. Here we go, results. Now, I have to say the silk turned out in a really pretty way. It has a nice orange look to it.
to it. And we got some pretty decent prints here. We did have some kind of a reaction here with a tannin and an iron reaction. Not quite sure how that happened, but it is my dye studio. Sometimes there's iron floating around. And we also got some sweet little prints here on the silk ribbon. The cotton, not so great. I didn't expect much, but it's even less than what I had thought. So we barely have sort of orange circles where the leaves were. And we got a little bit of an iron reaction there as well. So this is going to become yet another piece that will be over dyed at some point. But I would say that the silk did okay. And it's definitely different than last week with the aluminum acetate. Well, friends, maybe a disappointing result there on the cotton, but it is fun to see how different the print looked on the silk when using tannin as our mordant. Now I'm not gonna show you compared to last week. I'm gonna save that for the very end because we're gonna keep on experimenting over the next few weeks. And next up, we're going to use a mordant known as iron or ferrous sulfate. So let's see what that mordant will do with these echo prints on silver dollar eucalyptus. Have a great week. And yes, I will see you next Friday.